I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, and this is Sexplanations, the YouTube channel. In June, to celebrate our four-year anniversary, we launched Sexplanations, the podcast. It's an unscripted show where I talk to all kinds of interesting people about past episodes of Sexplanations and the tangential sex topics that come from that. I've had a lot of fun with it. I laugh. I think my guest hosts are amazing. We recorded some video of the most recent episodes so you can get a little taste and hopefully add it to your listening pleasures. Don't be ashamed to learn things that you need to know. Here's Sexplanations. Dr. Doe. Oh, is it legal to hump a dog? <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you mean. I, just like you going up to the dog from behind, grabbing it by the hips, right. and then humping it. With your clothes on. With your clothes on. Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm going to find out because I think it needs to be a sexplanation. You're going to find out if it's by legal. like doing it in front of a mm. cop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> research. I have been jizzed upon by a dog. Damn. Like, it was like, rum, 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 and I was like, off off of me. And then I was like, what is that? And then I realized. Did you put it under a microscope? I mean, no. <laughs> I did not. That was not my first thought. I wasn't like, Scott, I was like at a party. I wasn't like, excuse me, guys. Really great party. Your dog jizzed on me and I got to go. I can't tell you why. Do you know the story of the first microscope? Uh, no. Okay. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. Yep. That's a familiar name. Yep. He invented the first microscope and he supposedly did it with his research assistant, Johann Hamm. Okay. So they're in the lab. They want to see if this thing works. Right? Like you and I. It's like, oh, okay. What do we have access to? Yeah, what do we look and at? so they came up with spermatozoa and white blood cells, hmm. which means so someone was like, I'll cut my finger and <laughs> you <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> That's probably pretty fascinating to be like, what is in, what is this stuff? Well, because I'm told that if you have an egg nearby, yeah, that the sperm, you can mix them up uh -huh. and then they'll all go and start like swimming to the egg. Well, getting an egg would be harder. Yes. I mean, I could work really hard to collect though. It's just finding it in the collection. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I one comes out every month, so you could just be collecting them that way. All you got to do is a lot of searching. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Like, not possible. The, no, it's... definitely possible. Okay, right. you see how so, much water I have in my glass? Yeah. I would say it's that, especially for me, I have very light periods, but that's how much. So about two shot glasses worth of... Yeah. Of, okay. That's Menstrual not blood. that much to go through. No, I mean, but but I think it might be if you if you're thinking about how big an egg is, because it's about <laughs> now you're drinking the water and that made me a little <laughs> uncomfortable, um, because the egg, like it's not about how it's not about like if you have a needle in a haystack, mm -hmm. if you know if the haystack is much smaller but the needle is also much smaller, it's just as hard. So you might, but I, I think that a human egg cell is pretty small. It is, but supposedly it's visible with the human eye. Oh. It's huge compared to sperm. <laughs> How many presidents have masturbated in the Oval Office? Oh, gosh. Wow. Every single no. one of them. Because we just, we know that, that not everybody, not everybody's in, into it. Yeah, but if you were the president, would you not make it a thing to masturbate in the Oval Office? I mean, I, f I feel like my answer here is definitely going to disqualify me from ever being president. So, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I've never jerked off at work. And that feels like – it feels kind of like you shouldn't – feels kind of like you shouldn't go there. Yeah, no. I Work to me is different than the Oval Office. <laughs> well, I feel there like that's the work. There is one Oval Office. But that's there the is lots <clears throat> of works. Lots of like workplaces, lots of, right? right? This is not your first well, workplace. The, I mean, so you're not but, christening like, do you, it. Like, I mean, how many of the presidents have had sex with their wives in the in the Oval Office? Because like that, I feel like would be very hard not to do. What's the difference? I don't know. <clears throat> I I think both are disrespectful to the room. Oh, um, to, really? Because yeah, I, I, on my end, I'm like, of course you respect the room <laughs> by masturbating in it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like definitely not no nobody has had sex in the Oval Office. Definitely not nobody. Right. Well, so this gets into the sex and space conversation too. Right. 
because if I went into space, I would absolutely masturbate and I would totally try and have sex with whatever. <laughs> like <laughs> I would fuck that station. <laughs> Just whatever's nearby. Because you're there. It's like, yeah, you no, know. I, well, I, I think that, like, practically it's not easy to have sex in space. But I think that, like, that's never going to stop somebody. No. And also, that makes it more interesting to talk about it, which makes it more frustrating that we're not talking about it. I think we just need a, a millionaire listener or billionaire listener or, you know, call Bill Gates and say, send Lindsay into space and she will – absolutely test every single model available. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't that. that sound amazing? As you can tell, we had a blast. If you would like to listen to the whole episode, you can go to Sexplanations Podcast on SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, or Google Play. It's completely free, but if you'd like to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash sexplanationspodcast and get cool perks for supporting us. Stay curious, and as I say on the podcast, in Cora Imparo, I'm still learning. Mm-hmm.